Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel guys. <laughs> Great to be back guys on another map making video. Um, been uh, um, a bit busy this week but uh, yeah we managed to um, get some time tonight and or today rather. It is the night time here by us in South Africa but anyway doesn't matter which time it is. <laughs> the main thing is we've got some time to make another video so great man if this is the first time that you uh, stumble on my channel a warm welcome to you. Hit that subscribe and the like it's really uh, awesome to to meet you and see you. Always nice to um, yeah meet new friends on on YouTube. So great guys um, today's video had a few requests in the past and um, it seems like uh, um, different ways of adding gates and fences to your map sometimes confuse people you know and um, I want to show you how to work with a prefab today now a prefab is is something that's pre-manufactured and it comes in a package that you download it's not a mod guys <laughs> you cannot put it in your game and try and put it place it via the game itself you a prefab is a package that you download and you put it in your map folder and you use the editor to place it all right so i'm going to show you how to work with a prefab today and uh, I've, i'm here on my test map in um in the editor it's the alpine test map um, you guys that have been watching my channel for a long time and will be fairly familiar with this map. <laughs> Good man. Alright guys, so um, how it works is if you click on your window here on top, you'll see there's a thing that says prefabs. Now this is a very handy tool and as guys develop mods or, or I would say prefabs, they get added here. Well obviously the approved ones um, and then you can come in here while you're in your editor and download stuff. So the thing I'm looking at here is under, um, where did I find this, under dynamic it was, I think, um, I think I clicked on dynamic, I just found this gate, um, it's from bullet bull, it's a gate and fence pack, or will it just say it's a galvanized metal field gate pack, it's not a fence pack, it's a gate pack. <laughs> all right and these gates can open and close and do all those funny things you know so all you do guys is you click on the thing you or the prefab that you want there's a lot of stuff in here that you can go through even the four times map my farmer's bob farmer bob's four times map that i've modified is actually a prefab it's one of these things that i've made uh, used you know to make that four times start map uh, very handy tools to use guys um, all right so here we go um all you do then is click import prefab and once it's imported it's a quick quick import depending on the size of it it will pop down in your actual map folder under the prefab folder so it's already placing it for you in your map handy to use and there it is now in here you will find a lot of things but do not get confused guys the prefab disk is a mod disk file that is not a mod disk file it's a prefab disk you can they've put this in here so that you can make your own mod of this if you want to but then you're going to have to modify this prefab disk to become a mod disk and put the mod disk stuff in it like for instance if you go into your map um, test map is mine and you open your mod disk you see you're going to copy all this stuff the modest disk version 60 and the mod disk and put that into the prefab change that so that exactly becomes a mod disk not a prefab disk <laughs> all these disks that farming simulator work with my word anyway so here we go guys um that is why you will find a uh, prefab disk in there and do not get confused with that it is not a mod guys you can't put that in your mods folder and think it's going to work all right so once you've got the prefab there then you are busy you are ready to work with it so open your map map up and here on my test map i'm going to put one of those gates in here and show you how to do it and then yeah so what i've done is i've just opened go file import um, and then under your map folder you can go to mods test map map mod map us uh, test map is mine maps map alpine and then i'll find the prefabs folder open the prefabs folder and get get to the i3d that's what you want so you double click on that and it will pop it up into your map into a folder with all the gates that's available now here you can have a look at 
which gate you want there's a five bar gate a six and a seven bar gate so let's just have a look at the the seven bar gate there's double and the single and there's all kinds of stuff so i'm going to take the double gate i'm going to select that and press Control and b to place it so that i can bring that specific gate in here and it looks like this gate is almost as if it was made for this <laughs> for this driveway of mine so here you can see the trigger as well this green box is the trigger so now you can move this gate about use the up and down to place it nicely exactly where you want it and i'm gonna stick stick with mine like that all right just like that and the rest of the gates then you can just delete because you don't want all of that stuff in your in your map all right so i'm going to just for now ju just delete the rest of the gates so i'm going to leave that one it was the seven bar double let me just make sure it should highlight it yes so all the rest i could just now chuck just like that Boop. just leaving the one gate that i want all right and then in this seven bar double the main thing that make this gate works guys and this is where most guys uh, mess up is it needs a xml file that tells it what to do now the xml file is actually if you open your user attributes you go here to window and you go to user attributes and it will pop up the user attributes window for you now this window you can put anywhere you want i've just got mine here at the bottom so that i can work with it and material editing we can close for now we're not going to work on that so i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see what's going on here all right now at the xml file name you need to now change this directory here to point to your maps prefab folder if you go into the prefabs folder um maps map l point prefabs open that up and then you'll find these a animated objects.xml now this little xml is the one that makes the gate work it tells it what to do how to hinge um, how the trigger works and all that stuff all right so you want to take this directory now uh, from your map folder now the first directory after your maps folder you want to select from there so my maps name is test map so whatever your map name is ignore that but from there on all the directories up to where you are here when you can see it you just highlight it so drag select that press ctrl and c come back into the editor and up here everything that's in front of the animated objects.xml you want to you want to um, delete that and then you press ctrl and v like victor all right and then don't leave your um I leave your buttons don't uh, click anything else now you want to move and just find and see that all the slashes are backslashes that's fine and that is it guys and now all you want to do now is save the map and now it's once it says ready here at the bottom you can go into the game let's quickly open the game while we're waiting and then the map should work <laughs> or i would say not the map the, the gate should work <laughs> the map must work obviously <laughs> great so in korea let's grab a saved game uh, we want to go to test map continue start whatever and um i'm not going to worry about the the error log because we're not f looking for error logs we want to just see that the the gate is there in the in the map and that it works all right so here we go escape that and and look at that guys we've got a gate now the question is does it work click yes it does work and there you are it's opening now the one thing that i'm missing here is sound i don't hear sound i just want to put my volume up a wee bit and i um, just want to see how do i close it? oh you have to walk to the tip of the gate uh, okay there is sound sorry is my volume was just a bit low um i don't know how it sounds on the um on the computer you know with the recording but anyways i've got sound so that is it guys now the gate is working so if we now just alt tab back into the map 
I want to just have a look at, if you look at that um, that uh, uh, XML file name, let's go in there. So if, if you open the animated objects, your sound should also be in here. You see what I said here? This is your, um, the latch and everything, the motions and animations and everything is in here. And there it is, sound. Fence metal loop, fence metal open and fence metal close. Now these sounds are already automatically in the game. The moment the sound gets pulled up, you should find um, that these loops are already in the game. It's part of the base game. So yeah, it is. if it doesn't show any directories here, and if there's not a sound directory in the actual mod or whatever you've downloaded, then then that sounds don't need to be rerouted. But if there is a directory here that says sounds, then you need to make sure, because the same as in the i3D here, you need to modify that sound directory that it points to it at the actual, because the directory has now changed from the modder. Um, the modder made the directory obviously to go into whatever directory structure he had. So you need to change that. Remember in here we changed the directory structure because it was not our directory structure, it was the modders directory structure. So you need to change that XML as well as if you go into the animated objects, if you find any directories that needs to be rerouted. In this case there isn't any, but I'm just saying, say you're using another prefab and the sound doesn't work, then you need to come through the, the XML file and have a browse and find whatever, whatever um, is not working, you know, and that is it guys all sorted out and the gate is working very nicely there's no problems with it it runs like a charm and now from here on obviously you can now go and place some fences you guys all know how to place fences you just go p go down there i don't mean go for a p i mean press the p button <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my word, I can't believe I said that. But anyways, <laughs> uh, landscaping decoration. Um, and then grab a fence that you like. There is some steel fences here. That's a steel fence, I think. Is that a steel fence? It looks like a steel fence. You know, like giants, can they please just put some more description? Wood fence, steel fence, uh, you know, that type of thing. It will be very handy. <laughs> But you know, it's a lot to ask guys. And then obviously you just place your fencing wherever you want. Collides with another object, obviously it will collide. There you go. Anyways, doesn't matter. That's how you how you do it. Place a fence down there and whatever, you know. Wherever you want to put a fence or can put a fence. <laughs> but anyway guys, I just want to... Th uh, uh, thought I would um, quickly give you a browser now to place things with an animated objects um, XML and how to actually get it to work and this is a prefab guys so you can't you can't um, use the same principle on other things like mods and whatever you know um, however uh, see that see that uh, um, air balloon <laughs> it's on one of my previous videos we we, we rack the speed up of that thing. It's like a supercharged air balloon. <laughs> it's flying in, in a jet stream up there. Anyways, guys, so that is the way uh, that you will do that. And I uh, hope it's been helpful. And yeah, have a great, great day. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.